Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how you and your friends can set up an Among Us server to play on. This video will include five main sections, but if you wish to jump to a specific part, there will be timestamps in the description. <laughs> Look at him, he's testing out the chairs. They make a sound effect. Okay, I'm gonna start the game. We have a task in O2. What's this? Oh my. We need to vote someone out now. Or else the imposter wins. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna vote for Blaze. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm gonna vote for Blaze. Oh no. Let's see, let's oh see. no. No one is like, oh, oh who, was, who is it? Who is it? Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna follow Thunder. See what she's up to. <gasps> what? It was it was thunder. She thunder. She yeah. just killed it's me. Thunder. Definitely. Yeah, no. Firstly, you can use the link in the description to get to the official website. The download link is right at the top and it will take you to a Mediafire page where you'll just have to press download. It is important to note though that this download file contains both the map and the resource pack, so you'll have to extract the downloaded file to get the separate files. You will again have to extract this file. This will give you the world folder, so keep it in a place where you can easily access. For example, your desktop. For the next step, we're going to have to go to the server.pro website and access our server from there. At the dashboard, make sure that the server version matches the map version. This will ensure no complications. Before proceeding to the next step, quickly confirm that the server is offline. Afterwards, head over to the Files tab. Here you'll see a couple different files, but the only thing we need to do right now is select the world folder and delete it. Then we click this upload button in the top right. When this window appears, you select folder and navigate to the area you saved the world folder previously. Clicking upload, you'll be prompted with this pop-up. Click upload and upload again. It'll take a couple seconds for the files to upload. However, when it's done, you want to select the folder and rename it to something simpler. Once again, it is important to note though that spaces and special characters aren't allowed. For the next step, you'll want to copy the name you just renamed the world to. Proceed onto the server.properties file. Look for level name on line 37 and after the equals, right click and paste. Congratulations, now you have officially uploaded the world onto your server. Though, if you want a resource pack prompt like this to pop up upon joining, go over to line 39 and paste the download link of the resource pack you wish to use. What we've done is uploaded the Among Us pack to our Dropbox, so if you'd like, you can use our link which can be found in the description. If you wish to use another though, you can upload that resource pack to your own cloud storage and then use your own link. However, a tutorial on how to do that will not be included in this video. When you're done, turn on the server by going over to the dashboard and pressing this button. If you have followed these previous steps correctly, upon joining the world, you'll be prompted with this resource pack pop-up. Selecting yes means every time you log back onto the server, it'll automatically select the pack, so you and your friends won't have to manually do it. A bonus about this map is that it lets us change game settings to tailor to the amount of players. As mentioned here though, you require OP to have access to the command blocks, to gain access, you'll have to head over to the player section of the server, click on the operator tab and type in your username. You'll then have to set your game mode to creative as you can't access command blocks in survival. If you're unsure about some aspects of the gameplay or what to change these values to, the link in the description explains how each character works, different commands you can use and the recommended settings. So yeah, all you really need is to give your friends the hostname address so they can join. To find the hostname, all you'll have to do is go to your server dashboard and it's on the main page. Other than that, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. But make sure to subscribe and thank you for watching.